So Javed Ansari, let's call a spade a spade. Is the problem the elephant in the room again, Rahul Gandhi? You see, the fact is, the entire focus of the Congress at the moment seems to be in and around Rahul Gandhi and those close to Rahul Gandhi. Therefore, many of these state issues have been led to fester. And you don't have an Ahmad Patel or a strong uh, person who is a backroom operator who can put all this together. Do you believe that that's really the problem? The problem that the Congress simply doesn't have the kind of political managers to handle these faction fights and a strong charismatic leader who can bring in the votes. Look, all of that you say is true, partly true. But it's very easy to blame it all on just Rahul Gandhi or on the fact that just because Ahmed Patel is not here, Ahmed Bhai was a, we, we all know he was, a, he was a very capable person. But even when he was around, these problems existed. And what's new in Congress projecting its own leader? Is there in the BJP's anybody else projected except a certain gentleman? Mm -hmm. I mean, what's new? Most parties project their own leader. The, the fact is that it is not working. Yes, but the BJP the has is... political managers who are able to handle these situations and they are in power in the center. So they know how to distribute the benefits of power. Today the Congress yes, so is not in power so, in the so, center. How so do that you distribute? Pro... So that is what provides them heft. That's what makes it makes their job a lot easier. When the Congress go back a few years, when the Congress was in power, they used to manage these contradictions. Mm -hmm. Now they don't have enough goodies to give out. And That's... the fact is that because the Congress leadership is weak. They are not winning elections. They have to win in elections. The party must, must believe that our leadership can make or mar our future. And therefore, then the respect and then their rate will run. You know, uh, T.S. Singh Deo, do you agree somewhere in, in, in that, that, uh, you know, the, the problem seems to be at the moment that the Congress party simply doesn't have the power at the center to distribute the goodies as the word used by uh, Javed Ansari. You know, isko Rajya Sabha seat do, give someone else some kind of chairmanship. Now you can't accommodate all these conflicting interests, so the ambitions are clashing with each other. Not quite so, Rajdeep ji. Uh, as far as uh, states are concerned, where governments are there, and uh, it is goodies we are talking about, you have uh, many places where you can accommodate people. We are not looking at being accommodated in the center when we're talking about state politics. When you're talking about national politics, then things like uh, Raj Sabha or uh, maybe members of commissions, etc., that could count. But uh, in reference to states and in reference to states where the Congress is in power, that, that would not apply. You have uh, enough. No, so, of, what, so, what uh, would your uh, advice be to a Sachin pilot? What would your advice, Mr. T.S. Singh Deo? Does he wait it out like you? You've been extremely patient. Should he have just been patient and waited it out? Or should he be someone who said, no, my, I demand that I also be projected as a future chief minister? He's different. I am different. But uh, then again, uh, age is on his side. And I would advise him. I have advised him in a, a phone conversation. We keep in touch once in a while. Mm -hmm. I did tell him that uh, you have age on your side. Don't uh, hurry up taking any uh, such decision. And uh, I would only... Expect uh, maybe a youngster with the dash and uh, with a base, base on the ground uh, to be a little more patient, little more patient and uh, uh, don't let uh, these uh, tight situations. I, I know what is happening in uh, Rajasthan. I've been there twice for Raj Sabha elections. And even otherwise, we know what happens uh, uh, in uh, politics uh, sometimes. So you need, he has time on his side. Uh, so patience will give him uh, dividends. He should not uh, allow uh, others the opportunity to put him down politically. Uh, you know, uh, Anil Antony, the word used there by T.S. Singh there was patience. Is part of the problem that your generation lacks patience. Your generation meaning those in their 20s, 30s, 40s. And then you end up making ideological shifts. One day with the Congress, another day you do a complete U-turn and join the BJP. Shashi Tharoor. Uh, senior uh, Tiruvananta Puram MP has said that it's one thing to feel uh, to be frustrated. It's another thing then to switch straight away from Congress to BJP overnight. Mr. Pilot so far has stayed away, it seems, from the BJP. You went to the BJP, the party that your father and others said was a non-secular communal party. Is it that many of you feel because you're not getting your breaks, you're, you feel suffocated? 
you've decided to join the BJP because that is the rising sun. See, I did not join the BJP because I was feeling suffocated. I resigned from the Congress party because I felt and I absolutely believed that in the last two, three years, the Congress party had been taking several stances where I believe that they were compromising the broader interest of the country, the core interest of the country and the people's interest for certain um, short term political um, uh, expediencies. And a particular scenario came, which, uh, which was kind of like the, um, uh, which was kind of like the straw the, um, that broke the camel's back, where I felt that um, again, this was a scenario which was similar, where once again we are compromising our country's sovereignty as well as integrity for uh, political expediency. I resigned from the party. I, I thought about it for two, three months. I have been thinking about my future plans for the last two, three months. And I came to a conclusion, a very, very clear conclusion and a realization that at this moment, the Bharatiya Janata Party led by Prime Minister Modi ji is the only party in this country with a nationalistic and a national vision, with, with a national presence, which has a long-term vision, a clear vision and a direction to take this country forward. There is 